Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the Hertfordshire Business Expo. We've got lots of exciting things happening, seminars, workshops. We also have our headline speaker, who I'm sure you've seen, Miss Ruby Wax. And uh, that's all from me, so enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks very much. Hello, my name is Warren Cass from Business Scene. I'm here today at the Hertfordshire Expo to talk about social media marketing for small business owners. Most people nowadays are actually on the sites like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, but they're on there because they feel they ought to be because everybody else is. So today I've been telling people how to use it strategically and how to achieve return on investment. Let me, let me tell you, the third biggest fan page on Facebook is for the chocolate spread product, Nutella. It was created by somebody who really likes chocolate spread and has far too much time on their hands, but not by the brand. Over 10 million fans. And when you consider that type of power now is out of your hands and other people could be talking about you. Uh, have you all heard the term social commerce? Have you seen what TripAdvisor do now with quotes and with reviews and with all of those things? So we've got to start thinking about how we apply those to your business too. Hi, my name is Kimberly Davis. I'm the proud owner of Sarsaparilla Marketing. Today I'm here at the Hertfordshire Business Expo where I'm going to be speaking and talking about seven secrets to help you avoid marketing flash, fluff, and fakers. Number two, and this is something that I never see in other presentations, but is so vital, so, so, so <laughs> vital to your business. It's understanding the misconceptions that people have of your business. So, you go out there, you talk about your business, maybe you do have a unique selling point, and you say, I'm the only person to deliver pizza within 30 minutes. That's one form of degree. But, what are the misconceptions that people have about your industry. I'm David Key. I'm here today at the Hearts Business Expo and I'm going to be delivering a keynote speech on belief systems. One of the biggest challenges businesses have today in this current economy is a lot of people have limiting beliefs about their potentiality and I'm going to be sharing some really useful strategies on how we can change our beliefs and improve our performance significantly. Now one of the questions I ask students when they come on my training is how many ways to get from Rock's form to Edinburgh. How many different ways could you take? How, how many? Give me, give me a guess. I've worked it out. <laughs> Thousand. Yeah. It's infinite. It's infinity. It just depends on your model of the world and your thinking. There's an infinite ways to get to Scotland from here. It really just depends on your thinking. So what are the challenges you're having in your business right now? How many different ways do you think there are to overcome them? It's infinite. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you our very own headline speaker, the wonderful Miss Ruby Wax. Please can everyone put their hands together and welcome her on stage. When I first started working in television, I uh, interviewed people and uh, I wasn't a natural born interviewer. I kind of bluffed my way into that job. And 25 years ago, when I started, I used to watch myself interviewing. It wasn't always celebrities, but it was a strange situation because you had to create a relationship in about 10 minutes and uh, nobody liked me that I interviewed and I couldn't figure out why because I thought I was really charming and I didn't understand why nobody left their phone number <laughs> and then when I went into the edit room and I could see my face on my own camera I looked like an animal just before it eats you know the, the smaller animal uh, and it had this look on my eye the, the, people can smell your desperation and that's exactly what I looked like. So I learned over the years, I had to, otherwise I would have been out of a job, to deconstruct what it was I was coming across as. And just before you think, well, what does this have to do with me? Uh, I would say a lot, because it's an artificial situation. My job's on the line. I have to create a quick relationship, and it's not similar. It's similar to how you, uh, I don't know, meet somebody in a pub and connect, but it is in a business environment. But there are certain features that unless they can feel your meat, you know, that you're a human being, you're never going to touch them. And now the surveys say that even more than financial initiative uh, is that it's human. If they feel that, you know, they have a, they can trust you and that you care about them, they'll stay in the job. So that's good news. You don't have to pay them so much. Just be nice to them. <laughs> 
Well, Ruby, thank you ever so much. That was a fantastic talk that we just heard. You're welcome. Just a couple of questions. Um, I mean, everyone knows and loves you as you know this fabulous comedian on TV all the time, interviewing. Um, but they don't really know you as a business speaker. Mm. How's this change of career come about, and uh, are you loving it? <laughs> well, um, I don't know how it came about. I guess because it was a natural step because people in business want to know how to connect mm. quickly, and so that's what I had to learn. So I, I thought it was interesting to find out what it what it, what it was I did, and then give it to them. Yeah. So. It, it was very useful actually. Yes. There are a few tips that I'm definitely going to take <laughs> home with me. Um, and you're voices. studying at Oxford as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How's that going? That's my second year. <gasps> I have my Gosh. My dissertation. I hope you're not living in halls. No, I have to go. <laughs> as a post grade, you go every few weeks. Oh, really? So I only have to go for little sections. Oh, that's. Most of it's writing. Lovely. No. And how has your stay been in Voxborn? It's been magical. <laughs> I saw the train station and then I saw this one. Oh, well, like, and you'll see the train station on the way home as well. It was so fabulous the oh. first time. Good. Oh, well, thank you ever so thank much you. for joining us. Thanks it's been a, a pleasure to have you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.